Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. In this video, I'm going more in depth on um, variables in JavaScript, so cons, let, and var and um, how they work with different kind of uh, settings, that kind of stuff. So let's get right into it. So in the first episode, I al I already went over const and let, and I didn't mention far because far is something that is useful in some cases, but not a whole lot of cases. And um, I didn't want to show how it works and that kind of stuff in the first episode because you probably didn't have any experience yet. So in this video, I'm going to explain how they all work. So in this file, I have defined three variables. So number, num, and n. And they are all um, the same. So they are 44 and I want to change them to 50. But I defined them all differently. So the first one is with const, the second one with let, and the third one with far. So what does this mean? A constant. Let Let's start at the top. So a constant variable is a, a variable that can't be redefined, and this means that I can't say number equals fifty because number is constant, so I can't change it. It doesn't mean it's immutable, which means that if this were uh, to be an array, I could still push to it because it's an array and I can push to the array, but I can't change the type of the array. So I can't say, uh, yeah, number, it shouldn't be an array, it should now be a number. So what this means is that I can't do this. If I try to say number equals 50, I will throw an error because I can't reassign a constant variable so if i go into the browser i will say on call type error assignment to a constant variable so we can see that we can't do this because it's a constant variable now what if i were to change for instance this to be a uh, 44 and then um, say num number dot push um 50. We would see that nothing would happen if I try to lock number. We would see 4450, and this is because I can still uh, change what the variable holds, but I can't reassign it. So if we have an array, I can change what's inside of the array. If we have a map, I can change what's inside of the map. If I have anything that can be changed inside of it, so for instance, even an object, I can change what's inside of the thing that number holds, but I can't change what number holds. So I can't change it to a map if I have an array or change it to an object if I have an array or change it to an array if I have a number and that kind of stuff. So constant, it, it can't be changed. So let me put back number equals 50. So we can't change it, but we can uh, change what it holds. It's kind of confusing, but I, I hope it makes sense somehow. So next up is let's num equals 44 num equals 50 so let is a variable that can be changed so we can redefine it so num equals 50 so if we try to see what num is right now we we'll see 50 because we say 44 we change it to 50 everything works fine now we can also change it to different types to so say this were to be an array we could still change it to be 50 and all that stuff. It holds, it can do everything a, num, uh, a constant variable can do, but then it can also be changed. Now there is something that is um, different from let and const and far, besides the fact that they hold different, um, they work differently. And that is the fact that you can't redefine a variable if they are made with const or let. So what do I mean with that? Now let's say I were to do const number equals 50. We already defined number, 
because we say const number equals and let me change this to be 44 and then we say const number equals 50 this will throw another kind of error not a type error because we assign something to um, a constant variable but we will see that we have an uncaught syntax error because identify a number has already been declared so if we check this we would see we define number twice and that can't be done when you have a constant variable or a variable defined with let so if you try to do it right here let num we would also see num has already been declared and this also works when you have a constant variable and change that so const and let can't be re assigned re or redeclared I mean which means we can't say let num equals this stuff we have to change it with num equals 50 now what if we have var n equals 44 and we say n equals 50 well var is something kind of like let and then it also it, it's it's more an extent of let or let is a downgrade of far but far is really um, something not that great and I will show another uh, scenario in a bit where you really see why it's not that good so we say far n equals 44 we say n equals 50 what would n be n would be 50 now what if we were to redeclare n what if we say far n equals 44 and then far n equals 50 if we were to do this with let or const it wouldn't work if we try to do this with far we would see that it would still work so what we see is that we can redeclare a variable with far now there is an issue with this and this is that when you have a long uh, block of code for instance uh, 80 lines or something like that it's a bit of an extent but let's say we have 80 lines of code and if we declare something all the way at the top with far and we have to use it down there again all the way at line 60 or something like that and we want to declare another variable and we accidentally give it the same name it would be quite confusing to find out where we went wrong because we don't throw a syntax error because we really clear the variable it would just say um, well this variable is now changed but you just have to check where it all went wrong now if we were to say const n equals 44 far n equals 44 we would see that we can't change it because it's still um, uh, a constant variable which can't be reassigned now if we do var n equals 44 const n equals 44 we also can't change it so far can only be redeclared when it starts with far and the next variable is also far now there is another thing and that is block scope and what block scope is it's it's a bit um confusing at first but after you understand how it works you can use it to your advantage in a lot of scenarios so i want to go to this other file and what we can see is that we have two variables for x equals one and let y equals one so both x and y are one now if true which means we execute a statement we say far x equals 2 and let y equals 2 now take a minute for yourself to think of what would happen if I were to log x and if I were to log y because you might not expect what might happen so I'll explain how this all works before I show um, what the actual output is so we declare var x equals 1 which means we can do far x equals 2 right here or we could do it right here underneath it after that we say let y equals 1 which means we have a let variable which we can change but we can't redeclare really now we execute the statements we meet which means we are in a block scope so we aren't uh, running down a long list we go um, out we go into different kind of uh, block where we execute our different type of code and we say far x equals 2 and then let y equals 2 
Now what you might expect for x equals 2, oh, we can redeclare x, so x is 2. We can't redeclare let, so it will throw a syntax error because y can't be redeclared. And while that makes sense, it isn't how block scope works. So variables um, work differently when they are block scoped. So I show you what it outputs right now and then I'll explain why. So we see 2 and 1. So x is 2 and y is 1. So what we can tell is that x changed but y stayed the same. So far isn't block scoped. What that means is that when we declare x outside of here and we redeclare x inside of a block, it will change the entire variable. So the variable that we declared here will be x, it will be outside of the block scope, it will be 2 now. Let and const, however, they don't um, care about uh, a global variable, they are block scoped. So what this means is we say let y equals 1, that means outside of any block, y equals 1. But when we're in a block scope, which means this part of our code, we can redeclare y because we're in a block scope, which means that this variable um, is, um, well, it, it's it's kind of a mix between being there and not being there. So we can redeclare it and say y equals 2, which means that inside of this block scope y equals now is now 2 which means if i were to lock y and i notice that my indentation is a bit off so if i lock y we would see 2 2 1 which means that y is here 2 because we say y equals 2 but outside of here it's still 1 so when we say let y equals 2 it will only be 2 inside of this in this block scope so when i say y equals 2 I change the entire variable, so I don't really clear it, I change the variable, and it will see, oh, y is defined outside of here, I can say y is now 2, so y will change this variable into 2, which means it's 2 here and 2 there, and if we check here, we will see we have 3 times 2. And there, this is quite useful, because it means you can redeclare, really um, for instance, if you want to make an object, and inside of another if statement you want to declare another object you can do that without worrying that you use the same name so if we um, if we want to say a person and depending on in which if statement uh, they get executed we can still call the variable the same name and it wouldn't throw an error and the cool thing about this is that we can do it with const so if we try to say const y equals 1 and we change y to 2 that won't work because we assign to a constant variable but if i were to say const y equals 2 inside of here we'd see it would say const y equals 2 and it would only be 2 inside of here and it would stay 1 outside of there now what if i were to make another statement if true const y equals 3 and we log y we would see 3 2 2 1 so we log 3 because outside of here inside of this block scope y equals 3 then we log 2 because inside of this scope y equals 2 and then outside of here x equals 2 and y equals 1 so we log 3 2 2 1 now you might ask, what if I just make if true console.log y? I don't want to redesign it. Will it then be um, undefined? Will it take the outer y or will it take the y inside of this block scope? And the answer is quite simple. It will take the y that's inside of this block scope. So it will go back to the first y it finds, to the first variable it finds when it goes back through the block scopes and we'll take that variable as its content. So I hope this explains how um, const let and for work differently and um, how block scope works. And overall you don't really want to touch far because let and const are um, better options. Usually you want to define const because if you, you want to um, you want it to be as clear as possible what your code does. So if you say cons y equals 2, 
I want it to be Y and I don't want it to be changed. Now if you want it to be changed you would define it let and in some cases for instance if you want to use um, which I can show pretty quickly right here for Z equals uh, 50 then we log Z out here and Z out here we would see 50 50 so we define globally so I hope this um, explains how constant and for and block scope works if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video